Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back to another thrifty video. Today we're gonna cover what I sold in my online thrifting and reselling business in December of 2023. So we're looking at the last month of 2023. And if you guys aren't familiar with me, I thrift for a living. I thrift and I go and I find amazing pieces, amazing brands, and then I sell them online on platforms from Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and whatnot. And so really exciting times, really fun stuff that I'm doing here. And I'm selling thousands of dollars of clothing each month. So I love sharing all the numbers with you guys. It's fun for me to look back and see how far I've come from year to year, but also I like to share with you guys brands that have sold well for me this last month, the different pieces that I've sold for good money. Today we're looking at things that only sold for $50 or more. And so those are really helpful brands for you guys to know if you guys are interested in doing the same thing. So. That's what we're doing today. That's what we're covering. It's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna tell you guys my total sales, my profit after each platform took their fees. And then I'm gonna go through each of those really high price sales I had and share those brands with you, which is very, very helpful. So if that sounds good to you guys, give today's video a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. But from December, my biggest platform right now is definitely Poshmark. I um, sold quite a bit more on Poshmark than my other platforms. Mercari, I had one single sale. So definitely not coming in strong. And I actually had to restart my eBay business this month. So I went through and literally took down every single thing on my old eBay store and I started a new eBay store. It was a whole mess. I haven't sold anything on eBay then this month because I was redoing my entire store. I'm starting fresh, I'm starting over. And so I'm excited to share that journey. If you guys want more videos on that process and what happened, then let me know. But on whatnot, I also sold around $600. So not too bad. I only did one live stream, one live sale on whatnot this month and I made about 600 bucks. So not too shabby. But in total, my total sales were $2,986. So right about $3,000, which is um, quite a bit lower <laughs> than normal. But I also lost eBay this month and only did one live show. So it was kind of expected that I was gonna have a rougher month without my eBay in the running, but it, yeah, still $3,000 is not nothing to sneeze at, you know? The profit from that $2,900 is $2,415.42. So I made quite a bit of money, even though I didn't have my eBay. I got COVID this month. We had Christmas and New Year's. I saw just like not very many people were as in the buying mood in December. Usually a lot of your Christmas shopping is already done, I feel. So it was okay, it was still fine. And so I'm excited to share though the pieces that sold for good money. I feel like that's gonna be the really helpful part. And obviously we're gonna put up some pictures up here too so you guys can get a look at what sold for good money. So let's start with a $50 sale. This was a good sale and something I picked up more recently. I found it at a Goodwill here in Indianapolis area. I think it was like $3. It was this Think Royal camo weekender bag and this is something to note across the board camouflage has been doing really well like there is such a market for camouflage items it's not my personal taste but i'm totally down to pick up anything that will sell so camouflage is something to be taking a note of but think royal was this really interesting puffer bag but this brand is really expensive so i had not heard of it before i found this definitely something to be on the lookout for and this sold for 50 dollars, and we made 40 dollars after poshmark took its fees so 50 bucks not too shabby i spent about three dollars so that's like 37 dollars of profit at the end of the day on that bag then the next item that sold for good money was this vintage woolrich knit christmas sweater which sold for 52 dollars. and this puppy has sat through it sold right after christmas which i thought was so interesting um, but this puppy has sat since I did a collaboration with Ginger Marvin. I found this when I went to the bins back when I lived in Maryland. So it's been around for a while. It took the right buyer at the right time, right after Christmas to purchase this, but it still sold for good money. I got it in the bins for maybe, you know, a dollar or two and it sold for $52. So $39 and 58 cents. Anything that's vintage and knit tends to do really well for me. And this is a Christmas sweater from Woolrich which that brand also tends to do pretty well, especially if you find things that are knit from it. So that was a good overall, just round, good round pick. And then the next item was this pair of Madewell jeans. And I've been talking about these more in my thrift with me videos because I feel a lot of people don't feel like their Madewell jeans are selling. I'm not sure what's happening, but mine are selling great for me right now. They weren't for a long time, but now I'm having a resurgence in them. But this Madewell Cali Demi Boot jeans in Bell Spring Wash, 
button front edition, size 27, sold for $52. So I made $39.58. I probably paid about five bucks for those. So that was pretty good for me. And this is something else to note. Some of the more recent styles definitely are selling for more money. Like this was a $52 sale on Madewell jeans. Um, I've noticed the stovepipe jeans really do well. The curvy line from them does great. And then the Cali Demi boot, that one also has done well for me. So some styles that definitely do better than others for sure. And then another $52 sale was this Kate Spade Katie Cardigan with jewel buttons. It was a sweater in a green color size small and this I just picked up the other day at a Goodwill around me so this sold probably within a week or two for $52 and we made $39.58 so not too shabby at all but Kate Spade is another one of those brands that some pieces will not do great but if you can find a more substantial piece like a sweater a cardigan a coat those can do really well for you and then another bins pickup. This is a Brochu Walker Shark Bite Hem Black Ribbed Sweater Cashmere Blend. It was a size medium and it was $53 sale. So we made $42.40. But Brochu Walker is a brand that is expensive, but this took a long time to sell. So I don't know if I would suggest picking it up if you had to pay a lot of money for it. If you have not very much room in your inventory system, then maybe, maybe don't, unless the comps are really good and the sell through rate is really fast because this, this sat for at least a year before it sold. So I did get in the bin, so I paid about a dollar. So we made 40 bucks on it, but it definitely, um, you know, it took a long time to sell. That's something to note, but Pro Shoe Walker is a good brand. So if you haven't heard of it, maybe look that up. And then we have this pair of Timberland boots, which I think I picked up from the bin. These were a pair of Timberland waterproof Nubuck leather boots. They were a size women's nine or men's seven in black and they're a really interesting style from Timberland. A lot of times I find, you know, that kind of like orangey brown colored Timberland boot. Those have not been selling as well for me, but this pair was in great condition. Really nice black leather, really, really classy. These sold for $59, so we made $45.18. We had a lot of interesting numbers this month. Usually I feel like I hit like, this sold for $50, this sold for 65. These are like 53, 59. People were maybe um, making offers on all of these pieces. It sold for $59, we made $45.18. So I probably made over 40 bucks on that pair of little boots, which I find to be a win. And then a pair of Ugg boots also sold for good money. These Uggs were the black suede with Sherpa dandelion ankle boots. I got these in the bins really recently, actually. I think I only had these listed for a few days, maybe a week before they sold for $60. They were size seven and a half. From 60, we made $45.98. And again, I got these in the bits. So definitely I $44-ish of net profit at the end of the day, which is lovely. And then another good pair of shoes. I'm seeing a lot of shoes coming up on my higher end sales. So that's something to note as well. So this one was a pair of Birkenstocks. They were the Tatami Boston Clongs. Tatami is part of the Birkenstock family. So is Papilio but I find that those brands get left behind because people don't realize they are Birkenstock. And so I know there's tons of fake Birkenstocks out there, but these are actually part of the Birkenstock family. And they were a Boston clog, which is really popular and sells for good money. So these sold for $63, which means we made $48 and 38 cents. And I got these in the bins. So that was a great pickup. I was very excited to find both of those. And those also sold pretty quickly. So we made $45 net profit. Heck yeah, that's a win. And then the next piece, this is very interesting. We're going from the bins to very luxurious now. Next up we have a Givenchy piece. I think I found Givenchy pants before in the bins, like men's like trousers. This was a Givenchy sport preppy designer nautical top in size Italian 40. I found this at a buy sell trade store. So like an Uptown Cheapskate, Plato's Closet back when I lived in Maryland. And I believe that I used in-store credit to buy this. So I don't think I paid anything out of pocket but this sold for $64 this month and we made $49.18. So if I didn't pay anything out of pocket, we're looking at basically $50 of net profit, which is awesome. But Givenchy is a very expensive brand and designer level. So I know this one, I feel like though gets mispronounced and also people don't always recognize this label. So definitely take a look at the screen to see what it looks like. But Givenchy, another really good, really good sale. Very happy with that. And then this was a recent bins pickup and this was a very interesting pickup. So I want to share it with you guys. It was a New Attack Scuba Pro Profile Steamer Wetsuit that I found in the bins. New Attacks, guys, wetsuits 
can sell for money. They were, they are expensive. And so to find one new with tags was great. This sold in a bundle, so I probably could have gotten more for it if I wouldn't have had it in a bundle. But with the bundle pricing I set, I made $66.67 on that sale. $53.34 after the fees were taken. And I got in the bins and it was really lightweight. So $52 maybe of net profit on this wetsuit. But that's something to note, things that are for specialty activities, specialty sports like scuba diving or riding horses, like equestrian pieces or skateboarding, snowboarding, those pieces usually can sell for really good money. And because people need those for the sports that they wanna do, and they usually are more expensive, those pieces. So that's something to know and to be on the lookout for when you're out and about. And we have this gorgeous sweater. I have had this waiting for the perfect buyer. Actually, three of the top five sales came from one lady buying from me, which thank you so much if you're watching. I appreciate that so much. And you have great taste because these pieces are some of my favorites. This was a rare vintage Ralph Lauren 100% lambswool floral sweater vest in a size medium. Absolutely stunning. I picked this up at a Goodwill in Indiana months ago and I've been just waiting for somebody to love it. It sold in a bundle for $70 and it was so unique and so gorgeous and just so perfect. Like that is the kind of stuff I love selling. Sold for $70, we made $55.72 and I believe I got this on a half off day at that Goodwill for maybe like three bucks, maybe two dollars, something crazy. So we made definitely 55 ish dollars on that piece. And then the next piece sold um, within the day I listed it because this, again, the subscriber saw me list and talk about these pair of jeans. And so the Amo Bex jeans and Rad Wash, AMO Amo, it's a, I think a Los Angeles brand, really good jean brand to know. These sold for $80 in a bundle to her and I made $66. At that thrift store, this is when I found like the ALC dress and the C New York dress and like all of these crazy pieces, the Isabel Morant. Like I found these, this lady's luxury, luxury wardrobe and the Amo jeans were definitely part of it. These sold for $66. I paid about seven, $6 for these. So $60 of net profit, awesome. Next up, another bins pickup, which I love. It was a Lululemon piece. I found a Lululemon like puffer coat type pullover in black. It was the fluffed up pullover in black, size six, and it sold for $94.74. I believe this was also in a bundle. So bundles are really coming through for me. $94.74, we made it $75.80. I got this in the bins and it's so light, maybe a dollar into it. I got like $74 of net profit. Boy, do I wish I could find things like this all the time when I go to the bins, but that was a great bins pickup. Number, so now we're in my top two sales of the month. The second one went with the Amo jeans to a subscriber, so thank you so much. They were this pair of Totem Twisted Seam Denim in black. Another amazing brand came from that lady's designer wardrobe. Totem, if you have not looked into it, is such a good brand to know to resell. You won't find it often, but when you do, you better recognize it. That's how I feel about it, and that is what happened to me. This pair of jeans sold for $125, and I made $100. Again, I paid about seven bucks, but between the Totem jeans and the Amo jeans, the whole bundle was $205. And I had about $14 at the most into it. So great sale for me. And I was really excited to sell these and they were so cute. They were such a good pair of jeans. Both of them were, so $125, great sale this month. And then my best sale of the month actually goes to a bag. This is a garage sale pickup. I picked this up at a garage sale and it was a vintage Burberry's authentic tote bag in black pebbled leather with brown leather accents. And it sold for $175 this month. We made $140. Now, I've sold a quite, a, I've sold a few different pieces from this garage sale haul at this point. I bundled four bags together. I believe I have one left to sell and I gave one as a gift to my mother-in-law. So I believe I paid like a hundred dollars, a hundred and something dollars for all four of them. So I'm a little shady on my cost of goods at this point, but I know I made over a hundred dollars of net profit on that bag. And I picked that up at a garage sale in my hometown, which is like a small town, middle of nowhere. I found that Burberry bag and I also found a new Tags Marc Jacobs bag that I sold on January 1st. So I almost sold both of them in the same month, but you'll see that one coming up next month in my what sold. That one sold for, I think even more money maybe crazy times. 
crazy, crazy times. So that was my best sale of the month. And I sold quite a few things for good money this month. We made about $3,000 in sales this month, even though I lost my eBay and also did one whatnot show. And whatnot usually has been making up a big majority of my sales, but I was so sick this month. It was a rough one. So let me know guys how your sales went this month. If you guys had any interesting or fun sales, definitely let me know. And if you didn't know some of these brands that I put up from my best sales, then also let me know that because I like to know what brands you're familiar with and what brands you're not. So I can make better brand content for you guys of what you should be learning, but also something to be on the lookout for. You know, it's kind of helpful to know where you guys are at too. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these what sold videos, definitely let me know. Give today's video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.